the Christiansburg Aquatic Center has been open for six years and every opportunity we've had to bring in a big meet, it's something that we've really enjoyed doing. Uh, it's given us a chance to host a great fall invite. And, um, you know, it really showcases our program. It showcases this beautiful facility. And so it's really going to be a lot of fun. Schools like Purdue coming in and William and Mary and Yale men and Navy men. And kind of interesting, uh, the Navy men are going to find out uh, the seniors their appointment, uh, which is a real big deal. And uh, so this is going to be Thursday, probably around noon. Uh, we're going to do a real nice job uh, with that. And uh, there's actually eight total schools on the swimming side and uh, representing eight different conferences. So it's really going to be a great event. I think we're looking forward to a, a really good competition, very deep. Um, because we are hosting the NCAA zone meet this year, uh, that has attracted more of the teams that will be competing at the zone meet so they can get their, their athletes in our facility. So I think we're going to have the, some of the top divers in the zone here, which will be a, a, nice, uh, a nice prelude for our team to, to see what the competition will be like at the zones. What we're going to do on Saturday morning, we're going to pack the CAC. Uh, the mayor of Christiansburg is going to come out. We're going to have a free swim clinic uh, for youth. And uh, we're looking at uh, almost 125 kids uh, diving and swimming going to come through. And uh, you know, I think it's going to be a real nice community event. So it's really going to be uh, a great day for us. And we want to showcase you know, these swimmers and divers, the men being ranked 12th in the country and the women 25th in the country. Uh, Purdue is always a, a national power. And, uh, you know, so really should be a great chance for us to get ACC seed times, you know, which is really important as we kind of think about the championship segment and uh, start to accelerate, you know, to the second half of the season. Yes, right now, I, I think on the men's side, we have a Ben Shizzle, sophomore Ben Shizzle has been uh, showing a lot of consistency and he's also added uh, some degree of difficulty into his list to where I'm, I'm expecting to see some really good things you know going into this championship type meet. Last year's ACC bronze medalist Mauro Castro Silva also showing a lot of strength. Um, on the women's side Ashlyn Peters is having a, a great year. Uh, Ashley Booker, a, a redshirt junior, she keeps getting better every week that goes by. So I'm excited about her and senior Leah Piemonte's on top of her game. So I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to also because of this being a championship format, it'll be the first time we'll be competing on the platform event. And that'll kind of be nice to, to see where the divers are in platform as well. Well, and if you look on the swimming side, uh, we have a bunch of nationally ranked swimmers in the NCAA right now. Uh, Robert Owen continues to show why he's a national team member and Brandon Fiala why he's a multiple time All-American. Uh, both these guys are, are really starting to, to come into their own this season as well. Uh, Norbert Zabo is one to watch, sophomore who's really thrown down uh, some fantastic performances. On the women's side, Jess Hespler uh, is as strong a swimmer as we've ever had uh, and helps us in anything freestyle from 50 to the mile which is very rare. Uh, Claudia Nashablo uh, is another swimmer that's really uh, showing a lot of strength, nationally ranked in multiple events, as is uh, Fiona Donnelly. So uh, a lot of our seniors are, are doing tremendous work for us, and we're excited to see what they and their teammates can do this upcoming weekend.